Welcome to the Smart Board Revolution Global Virtual User Group Special Edition, Smart Survival Guides. I'm your host, Matt Granger, and this episode is the new Activity Builder tab. The Activity Builder tab is the new one in Notebook 11 right here that looks like a puzzle piece. So we're going to click on that. I'm going to turn off the auto hide since I'm going to be in this tab a lot and there will be stuff in here when I'm building lessons or working on something uh, and I'm going to be going into the various tabs I turn off the auto hide so that this area here doesn't keep disappearing on me every time I click back into the workspace so the activity builder I select it here is a little tutorial how to build an activity uh, four steps and then more information if you've used notebook before you might know about the vortex sort the loved or hated vortex sort you put you can have one for text or image this is for images you label your two vort vortices so Recycle, garbage, etc. How many images you want. A lot of people like the rotate the vortices. So they're rotating and then you have your pictures and you drag them. And if it's correct, it disappears into the vortex. If it's incorrect, it bounces back. Now obviously we don't have the pictures in there, but that's what happens. That's the vortex. So the activity builder is a similar idea, but without the vortices. And you can make any object the object that is going to accept or reject something. I've already made this page. I've got singular nouns, plural nouns. These are objects. Right? Everything is an object on the page. So I'm going to click outside both of these and drag. I just want to lock those down and actually I'm going to group them first and then lock those down and I did that with on a Mac command L on a PC it's control K uh, now I have my two boxes they're the same I'm gonna go ahead and just change the color of this one I have my activity builder tab here I'm going to edit And now, since I already had selected this object by clicking on it, this is the one that I'm working with now. So I can accept these objects and reject other objects. And it says drag objects here to accept them. So plural noun, the word fan is a plural noun. So I drag it off the page, and drop it there. Children, that's a plural noun. Drag it in there. Child. Oh shoot, child. That shouldn't be in there, obviously. So I can grab child up here in this and just drag it to the trash if I make a mistake. Uh, apples and geese. So if those are the objects that it's going to accept, what are the objects that it's going to reject? and notice the ones that it's accepting it's putting the green checks so I could drag each one here that it's going to reject or right here add all remaining so it's gonna look through this whole page all the objects that aren't locked notice that singular and plural noun that's another reason that I locked them down they didn't show up there because they're locked down so everything that wasn't locked that wasn't one of these for showed up here so this singular noun box the brown box showed up to reject but I'm not gonna be dragging that around so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that one in the trash so there you go done so that's only for this object 
So now I can select a different object, click edit. So this will be the singular noun box. So what do I have? I have car will be accepted. Goose will be accepted. And child will be accepted. And then I'm going to reject everything else. And again, now this plural nouns box is in there, so I'm just going to drag that to take that out of there. I'm finished editing this object, so now I can click Done. I'm going to go ahead and lock these two in place. Now here's I don't want to group these, but you can do this. Here's a little trick. If you've got more than one thing, you can select the objects more than one and you can lock them all at the same time so these two now are locked in place okay so let's see if it works geese singular noun put geese up there it pops back car singular noun put that up there and it disappears fans plural noun disappears children disappears child pops back okay so it seems to be working so the things by default anything that it accepts disappears anything that it rejects bounces back fabulous so that works now to get everything back you can go in here to your activity tab again and hit reset. It's going to put everything back where it was. This is not like you know your uh, object animations where you can go back a page, come back to the page, and then every it resets the page. It doesn't work like that. Um, if you want to change anything, so here we have singular noun selected. We can go to edit. So we did the objects, but here's all this also the settings tab so let's click on that when the object when accepted the object play the animation fade out so it disappears it fades out it can fly out and shoot off the page it can snap to the center of this object which would be this box except with that one I'm not so sure that uh, that makes much sense because then it's going to stack the words on top of each other. If it would snap to grid within that would be a better option, I think. Or the object can spin. So you can change what happens for it to be when it's correct. And if the object has a sound attached to it, you can also click that to play the object's sound. When rejected, the object bounces back or it does nothing so those are your only two choices but it can also play the object sound now that we've edited for this box we can click done if we want to go and now make those same changes for this box you click edit settings so spin play the sound bounce back play the sound done so now let's see geese plural oh see it spins okay nice so it's just a little bit different and it stays that might be something that you want it to do fans singular bounces back car singular spins and then it stays right there that's a nice option for something like this where you actually want them to stay not disappear so then you can talk about them afterwards right goose so get it up here and it'll spin right there and I can still see it now see so notice too that you have to be in the box if I drop it here it's not within that box it doesn't do anything partially in doesn't do anything gotta get it at least halfway it looks like in 
the box for it to be within that area that's defined as the the box so you'll notice too here it says current page two activity objects on the page identify if you need to find them if you get a file from someplace else and it has one of these you're not sure what objects are set to accept or reject things you can click the identify and it will put the little blue lines on each one so remember that we had the sound play the sound so if you attached a sound to it fans and I'm gonna make this the object this time I don't want that little icon in the corner And if I was doing this, I would also make all of these lock and allow move so they don't get deleted. And you could do all of them at once by dragging around them, selecting them all, lock, allow move, and now they're all locked. They can't be deleted. So that's how you build an activity. Join us for our monthly Spurgvug meetings around the first of each month. You can find information about our current meeting schedule and links to past meetings, the recordings, at the smartboardrevolution.ning.com. This has been Smart Survival Guide, and I'm your host, Matt Granger.